as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. So these fighters are just a year apart with similar height and the same reach. Let's get it started. Here's Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 15 wins, two losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Pepper no mercy. Yeah! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 13 wins, no losses, and one draw. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds, fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, as far bullet as oh, ah! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. The veteran Herb Dean draws the assignment here. Ready. Ready to fight. Good. All right, so the fight is underway. We will see how it plays out. It's a pick em fight. It's in Las Vegas. And it's really hard to think of a weakness that we've seen on film from either guys in the UFC career. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the food chain. They're the best of the best that we could put inside the octagon. They are so well-rounded, they have every skill, and that is going to be on display tonight in this key matchup. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Well, he told us, all right, so a near-perfect entry there, and finally he gets his first takedown of the fight, and they say, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again, was able to get him down. Persistence pays, and that's what we saw with this young man. Over and over, he shot the takedowns, he tried to mix it up, and he got defended. But eventually, he got it done. Now, what does he do with this top control? Working on a guillotine. Oh, he's stuck in a guillotine. He might get a finish here. Oh, he might have got him with a choke. Yeah, that is high-level grappling right there as he gets the win tonight here by way of submission. And he bided his time there. He stayed patient, waited for an opening, and then when it was there, he certainly capitalized to get the tap here tonight. Well, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger in finishing fights. So there he is, your winner by submission. That is a finish they will likely be talking about for some time. Big win, major statement made to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at two minutes, five seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out, Pepper number All right, so there he is, all smiles, and rightfully so, after he gets the job done by submission tonight. You told me off the air before the fight that he was going to submit him, and that's exactly what happened. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. And his opponent is known to lay in the guard. He made him pay for it tonight, got the submission victory.